So I came across a pretty interesting story in the past few days, and it has to do with how Devontae Adams being traded away from the Green Bay Packers and the new deal he got when he went to Las Vegas led to Tyree Kill leaving the Kansas City Chiefs. And honestly, when that trade happened with Tyreek Hill to the Miami Dolphins, that was, I think, a wild trade to see happen. Like, I didn't see it coming whatsoever, similar to the Devontae Adams trade. But I want to go through how exactly Devontae Adams' trade led to Tyreek Hill being traded. So it came out from ProFootballRumors.com. It says here, the $30 million per year contract Miami authorized came after Kansas City balked at a deal similar to Adams. Hill's agent, Drew Rosenhaus, said on the receiver's first episode of his, of his It Needed to Be Said podcast, the Hill Chiefs talks changed after Adams inked his $28 million average per year Raiders deal. Shortly after the Adams extension, Rosenhaus put pressure on the Chiefs to hammer out an Adams-style accord with the agent calling his client a superior player to the two-time Packers All-Pro. I feel like sometimes we can forget that, you know, lots of, you know, whatever happens with one player at a certain position obviously affects the rest of the positions as well. So with Tyreek Hill, Tyree Hill's agent sees Devontae Adams come in and get that massive deal, he's like, you know what? I think we can get the Chiefs. We should make the Chiefs pay us this much. If Devonta's getting paid that much, Tyreek, you deserve this much. And so that sort of started things going there. And so it makes you wonder, you know, if Devonta hadn't gotten that massive contract, would Tyreek Hill still be on the Kansas City Chiefs? And then it says here from ProFootballRumors.com, if they didn't want to do that type of deal, then we would get them a blockbuster trade, Rosenhaus said via Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk. I flat out told them that I felt like I could talk to teams around the league and bring a bunch of, bring great compensation. And I think the Chiefs initially wanted to challenge us and see what we could get from other teams contractually and what we could also get compensation-wise. So Rosenhaus is basically saying to the Chiefs, and you know, probably with the agreement of Tyreek Hill, like, let's try to make this money close to Devontae Adams. If the Chiefs won't pay us that, let's find some blockbuster trade, get it done and make you that money. And then, you know, allow the Chiefs to be okay with moving on from Tyreek Hill. Because I think, you know, when you look at the deal done with the Miami Dolphins, because I feel like that's the only way, you know, Tyreek leaves the Chiefs if they get that insane compensation, with they, which they did get for Tyreek Hill. And so Hill did say when I was reading that he would have been fine with 25 to $26 million per year, um, you know, if the Chiefs would have offered him that. But according to Tyreek Hill's agent, the Chiefs were still a few million dollars lower than what, you know, Tyreek Hill and his agent were looking for. So it's crazy to see just how one player being traded like Devontae Adams coming in and making that mass, you know, having that massive contract with the Las Vegas Raiders leads to Tyree Kill, you know, eventually leaving the Kansas City Chiefs. So I just wanted to cover that story real fast. If you guys want to see more NFL content like this, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below, and I'll see you guys next time.